How do you make sense of the BOJ's messaging and how significant has the change in tone been this week? Right. Um, it's clear to me uh, that the BOJ has changed its um, messaging strategy in the sense that from this week they start to um, clearly mention and discuss about um, the exit scenarios. Um, for example, um, uh, um, from Monday there was a kind of workshop for uh, on the BOJ's policy policy review, which they announced to conduct in April's meeting. And as an economist, I was invited and attended. And I was surprised that there was a full of discussion on exit and also the side discussion on side effects on current YCC and unconventional monetary policy. So I felt that like, you know, their policy review proceeded and they start to communicate with the uh, in terms with the with the market to, to talk to, to think about the exit in the in the near near future. And of course, um, after that, the Dip Dip T uh, Governor Himino talked about even merits of rising uh, the hike in interest rates. And also yesterday, um, Governor Ueda in the Parliament uh, mentioned about what if scenario, some what if scenarios on on the exit. And also after that, he he met with Prime Minister Kishida. Those, those I think those are coordinated move, uh, intentional move by the BOJ that they will start to communicate with the exit. Yeah, I mean, it's so strange. Traders almost seem to think that it's going to happen perhaps even this month. But do you think the BOJ is signaling an end to YCC and negative rates this month or even January? Um, I'm not in that pool and I'm against that speculation because my take on what, what we are seeing uh, what we are seeing now is the BOJ is preparing a ground for a pivot sometimes next year. So not indicating that they have found some developments in prices and they're moving quickly. I, I don't think that's the case. Um, because um, um, I guess even at, um, even after, uh, uh, even those communications are, I think it's, it's planned even at the appointment of Ueda in April. Um, because as an econ economist, I, I don't think um, the Kuroda's uh, policy, uh, the, his uh, predecessor's policy, it's intervening too much in the market and also too rigid to adjust when the shock happens. It doesn't mesh with uh, Ueda's, uh, who, who used to be an econ professor, uh, I don't think it meshed with his vision. So my, my, my guess is um, uh, BOJ wants to finish YCC uh, and negative rates as soon as possible. At the same time, uh, it, it, doing it uh, quickly will uh, sp spook the market. So that's why um, they introduced the policy review and I, I think they will use it as a communication tool um, to, 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 uh, smooth for, for, to prepare for the smooth exit. So that's what we're seeing now. So the BOJ's intention is they're planning to exit from maybe from a in April or my guess is July. And they're starting to prepare gradually for the exit. But uh, yesterday market took it too much.